Hello world, uh, welcome to my Android video tutorials. Um, today I will be going through a Stack Overflow question. So let's begin. Alright, so it is this question um, by this user. Uh, it is how to use find view by ID inside a fragment. So it seems that this person knows how to use find uh, find view by ID function within an activity, but they don't know how to use it within a fragment. And find view by ID is essentially to get a reference to your um, uh, widget from your layout file. All right, let's begin. I have an Android Studio project open already, and we have uh, some boiler boilerplate code. Uh, just has a main activity, an activity main. All right. So what we're going to start with is create the layout file for our fragment. We'll call it fragment test. We'll use a frame layout as the root layout. We will um, go ahead and uh, add a text view there. Wrap content, wrap content, and the text will be I am the best. Right? And I'll just uh, center this in the middle of the screen so we can all see. Uh, we'll be using layout gravity. Center. Right? There we go. Now what I will do is give it an ID so that when it comes time we can access it. I will call it I am best. All right, that's it. So that is our layout file. We're now going to go and create our fragment class. It will be called test fragment. And the super class or this test fragment extends, as you know, the fragment. Um, and what we're going to start with is by attaching our layout file to this fragment. So we, in order to do that, we overwrite on create view. On create view, you can see that it must return a view, and that view is going to be this object, or rather this layout, which is going to be a frame layout. So what we'll do is uh, we'll say view root is equal to and we will use the inflator to inflate the layout file for and get the uh, root view. So inflator dot inflate will provide it the layout resource file, which is r dot layout dot uh, fragment test. We'll give it the root uh, to the inflator, which will actually be our container. This is provided to us by the fragment itself, and we're just going to pass false for attached to root. Right? So that gives you, that basically inflates our layout, attaches it to our fragment, and gives you the root view, uh, or rather, yeah, root view that would be our frame layout. And we will use that to return. So this, uh, this basically works. Right now, if you were to use this fragment, it would display this layout file. Uh, in order to get access to our uh, text view, I am the best, we need to use the root view now to uh, find the view. Right? So we want a text view. We'll call it I am best. And as you can see, find view by ID uh, doesn't work here. This, uh, this is provided to you. The reason why it works in an activity is because <coughs> the activity class provides it to you, but fragment doesn't. So you must use it <coughs> through um, some other view. In this case, it'll be our root view. So we'll say root dot find view by ID. We'll give it the ID, and that should give you your text view. Now you can modify your text view as you wish. So I am best dot set text. 
I'll call it yes I am the best exclamation marks All right so that's it that uh, this is how you get access to your root view or uh, your text view All right using find view ID now I'm just going to go test it I will add it to our activity main um, so we'll add it to the bottom here at the fragment itself uh, match parent match parent for height and width and the class will be our test fragment we'll need to give it an ID otherwise it'll crash so we'll say fragment okay. this is just to attach the fragment to our activity now uh, one last thing I should do is give it a because we're using a coordinated layout, we should uh, uh, provide this layout behavior. That way, we can see the action bar. So not this one here, in the fragment. So, as you can see, the action bar is now shown, and the fragment uh, is also there. Uh, let's run this in our emulator. Let's wait a little bit. Fingers crossed. There you go. All right, that's that's how you do it. So basically, you as you can see, um, we were able to use find view by ID inside the fragment, and we were able to modify the text of the text view appropriately. All right, so and uh, that's that's the main solution uh, generally I practice it like this but there is one other solution you could do so uh, imagine that we don't have this code here what you could do inflation happens as normal here uh, what you can do is override on view created after the super call you can uh, get access to your view to your text view the same way essentially but now you would just be calling the function this function which is provided by the fragment called get view it essentially returns this object to you uh, and everything will works uh, the same way as before now the only reason <coughs> why you couldn't use this in here for example you couldn't do this uh, is because <coughs> this get view will re uh, is meant to return this view and it happens it gets set up after this on create function on create view function sorry so that means that uh, it needs to occur after you return a statement and because you can't do anything else after your return statement it needs to be a function after the on create view function and that means on view created Logically, it makes sense because here you're creating the view, and when you override this one, it means that the view has already been created, and therefore you can call get view, which will return this guy. All right, that is uh, another solution, and that is it for this video. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please subscribe, please like my videos. Until next time.